Hello family, this is Aqua Goddess. Welcome to your extended reading. If you have not already watched the reading, the Most High has heard your prayers. Make sure you guys watch the part one to this reading. I just wanted to discuss the potential outcome between you and your person based off the energy that I picked up on your last read. So Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, Most High, Please protect me, my collective, and our families as I channel these messages. Please provide the most clear messages. And please return all negative energy back to sender, 25 million fold. For anyone out there showing me love, much love and light to you. So Spirit, what do we have for the extended energy of the messages that I picked up in regards to the collective and their person? What is the potential outcome in regards to the collective and their person? What will this person's potential actions be? They're going to work very hard for you. Um, they feel like you're a very mature individual. You could be 38. They may be 38. You may be born on the 6th of the month, 8th or 3rd. Or this person may be born on those days. I'm seeing March 6th, August 6th, June 8th, June 3rd. This person's thinking about how much work they will, will have to put in in regards to you, but they know that you're worth it. Okay, so this person is wanting to definitely put in some work to make some changes in this connection with you. What else are they pl planning on doing when it comes to this connection with them and the collective? Spirit, what do they plan on doing when it comes to them and the connection with the collective? They could be keeping their distance right now. Because there's somebody else that they're dealing with and also there you have the poverty energy. So this is letting me know with the poverty and the lovers, they have a choice in love. They may be in a connection right now in regards to money or thinking about what kind of work they can do to get their money together. This person is thinking about potentially marrying you, but they know they have to change their ways and, and work on their finances. They know they have to disconnect from any other energy. Uh, this could be a situation where the feminine energy is older and the younger and the masculine energy is younger. Um, this person definitely has a concern about you meeting someone else. They want to be your only person. All right. So what's going on with this family room? Okay. Yeah, they want to have a home and a foundation together. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person's obsessing over you. What is their main concern when it comes to my collective? What is this person's main concern when it comes to my collective? Okay, so their concern is that somebody else is going to take you off the market. That you will allow access to someone else that is more open, more emotionally available, more transparent. If this happens, this person is still going to want to communicate with you and try to convince you that the new person is a snake. They don't want you to give up on them. I see them coming back to try to mend some things they're concerned about you starting over so what are their purest intentions towards my collective they want to get to know you more try to be more open with you they're chasing you they don't want you to leave they're going to keep trying they don't want to ghost you anymore or they don't want to Go through these periods of silence, no contact. Uh, they want to treat you well. They're going to be very slow to commit, but I see this person wanting to step up to the plate for you. 
they're watching you and they don't want to play anymore. They're not attracted to you for just sex. They want to take you out and court you and and learn you more. They don't want you to have to take yourself out on date nights or anything like that. Karma's here and new love's here. Some of you guys are already texting somebody new or you're going to be hanging out with somebody new this summer that makes you feel happy. And this past person is going to come back ready for love. You may reject this person. What is the collective going to do when this person comes back? What is the collective going to do when this individual comes back? You realize that you guys are not on the same page. And that they're still trying to keep you a little secret. So what I'm seeing that you're going to do is go on the, oh my gosh, you're going on a vacation with a new person. A vacation. I'm talking about the beach, wine, conversation, great food, great atmosphere, paid for, vibe it. So you're going to reject this person and you're going to be on a vacation with a new person. <laughs> the rejection may come before the vacation. I don't know what order it's going to come in for you guys. Everybody's different. But I see that. And I see you being super happy with whoever's texting you. You guys are going somewhere where there's a body of water. It's very beautiful. There's palm trees. Everything. It's over. <laughs> and this past person is going to be salty because they are still an impersonator. They still are a clout chaser. They want you back. And they super broke. Living a double life. All This is karma. This person is saying, why me? Poverty. They salty. They made the wrong choice with you. Yeah. So those are the messages that I got for you guys for your extended. I hope you enjoy this reading. If it helped you, gave you any type of clarity, if you enjoy the reading, make sure you show some love, thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you soon. Much love and light. Peace.